Today, we're going to talk about the multi-purpose controller or MPC in the main engine electronic system. So, the engine control system of the main engine electronic is built up with a number of distributed controllers. These controllers execute the control functions and are administered by different control units working with one another. So, these controllers communicate mutually over a network and are interfaced to the surroundings via either wired inputs or the main operating panel. So this is an EICU or engine interface control unit. We're going to open this to see the MPC. So this is the MPC, the multi-purpose controller. The multi-purpose controller is a basic computational building block of the engine control system. This is a product of Man, Burmester, and Wayne. So, this MPC is like a PLC-like computer. This features a central processing module. So, it has a module in which the application of the program runs. So there's also a, an input and output module capable of measuring various types of input from the sensors and generating different types of control output for the solenoid valves to facilitate the action depending on the input of the input devices like sensors. So it will be processed here, the MPC. So this is the controller or this is the brain of each application. So it, it has also a facility for networking and serial communication. So this is the brain or controller of the control system of each application like in the auxiliary control unit. So as you can see here, it has an ID key. So part of the MPC, it has a battery for the internal clock, the LED, the plug for ID key, the IP switches, and it has a power plug. This battery is for the internal clock only and has nothing to do with the memory. It has an alarm at low battery level. So don't be cautionary with this. You don't have to change this the battery when engine is running because the MPC will go offline so it, if it will go offline then the system will not be controlled anymore but there is no brain anymore so this LED indicator when the green light shows then this MPC is okay when yellow, then it is booting or different mode than control. When red, so this is dead. So this LED indicators tells you what is the condition of the MPC.
So there are also fuses that are monitored by the alarm system. So if you try to remove a fuse in use, for example, the F12 fuse 12 on ECUA, then check the alarm system if the alarm system will will activate. So this MPC is individual to each system in the EICUA B in the auxiliary control unit HCU because this is the controller it controls the system this very sensitive so only qualified personnel will handle this one 